and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm sharing with you my perfume collection i don't have a huge collection but i have a few perfumes that i really like to share with you some of them have a really uh, special meaning to me and others i just really love so um, yes in this video i'm sharing them so if you like to see my recommendations, please keep on watching. If you're new here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram and give it a huge thumbs up if you're excited to see the video and you really help my channel with that. So now let's get started with my perfume collection. So the first perfume that I like to show you is the Yves Roger Vanille You Noir. This perfume I got last year from my father and it's a gorgeous perfume. The scent, like it says, of course, is vanilla. And it's a really nice uh, vanilla scent. It's quite there, but also it's not in your face. So yes, this perfume is really nice. The packaging is also really cute. And you can just pop it in your bag if you are going somewhere. It doesn't take a lot of space in your bag. So that's also really handy, I think. This is plastic and the bottle is glass. So you have to be a little careful if you put it in your bag. This one stays at least a few hours. Not so, not as long as some of the other perfumes I will show you. But yes, a really lovely perfume and a great to have in your collection if you love vanilla. The next perfume my husband really loves. And it's from Victoria's Secret and it's the Per Seduction. This perfume I purchased uh, on the airport on my way to Turkey when I met my husband and that's why I don't use a lot of it because I just don't want to throw it away because it's so special for me when I met my husband I was wear this perfume so it's yeah it's really special for me this perfume is really sweet so if you like sweet scents this is perfect for you it's also really fruity and he has a little sensual seduction that's why the name I guess and the Victoria's Secret perfumes are also not too pricey so if you're looking for a nice fruity and sweet perfume check out the from Victoria's Secret they also got a lot of other really nice scents before I moved to Turkey I had a lot of their uh, body splashes but I all gave them to my sister because they just take a lot of space uh, in my suitcase but if you're on a budget and you want a nice perfume Victoria's Secret has some nice ones. The next perfume has such a cute packaging and it's from Nina Ricci and this perfume is called Ricci Ricci from Nina Ricci and I mean look the packaging is just so adorable with the bow it's a really lovely purple shade so the scent of this is quite heavy it's not as sweet as the other ones. This perfume I wear on a night out or when I have a wedding a party I think this is a great perfume because the scent is a little bit heavier I wouldn't wear this on a daily basis but mostly when I go out if you like heavier scents check out this one and of course for on your display on your makeup table I mean this is just so adorable the next perfume is from Chanel and it's Coco Mademoiselle this perfume is one of my favorite it's such a classy feminine uh, scent I love Chanel it's just really sophisticated feminine and also strong I would describe this scent as soft and feminine this is definitely a scent that you can wear on a daily basis because it's so subtle and it stays such a long time if I spray this on I smell this still in the evening of course you pay a lot for these kind of perfumes but I think if you want to invest in a perfume definitely check out the Chanel ones because they are just gorgeous so I got the velvet body oil which I really recommend if you don't want to spend the money for the actual perfume because this is a lot cheaper and still the scent stays a really long time on you and it also hydrates your skin so if you don't want to spend the money for the perfume go for this one and I also got the perfume and the bottle is a little bit damaged yes it's really one of my favorites so check them out the next scent is from Guess and because the packaging is a little bit damaged I will put the name on the screen so you can check it out the name was on this little hanger here but because I traveled with it uh, it broke so I'm not sure what's the name called but I will check it out and I will put the link in the description box the scent from Guess is quite heavy and again really strong and feminine. Guess has a lot of nice perfumes and also not too pricey. So again, you can check this out if you're on a budget. The bottle is also really pretty, I think, for on your display. The only thing I would say is that this can break 
quite easily but still it's a really beautiful perfume so if you are looking for a nice feminine scent on a budget check out the one from guess the next perfume is another classic and it's the miss dear sherry i got this perfume for quite a while because i just don't want to finish it it's such a gorgeous perfume and it's really a classic scent and i think this is again for all ages so you can buy this for your mom your grandma but also for yourself i think most people will really love this uh, perfume because it's not in your face it's not too sweet not too fruity it's just a really classy it's not really heavy so again for daytime this is a really great perfume so if you're looking for a nice uh, luxurious perfume check out the one from Dior because they are all gorgeous and then the last one is my favorite perfume this was my wedding perfume and it's from Victor and Rolf and it's called flower bomb if you love a perfume that is in your face you will love this if I spray this on the next day I still smell it it's just unbelievable it is floral sweet girly it is everything that I'm looking for in a perfume if you like also strong scents you will love this this is not as subtle as the Miss Dior or the Chanel this is just really in your face but I really love that and for me this is a really special perfume because this was my wedding perfume so it's just really special for me if I smell this I immediately think again about my wedding day so um, yes it's really special so yes this is one of my favorites and uh, check it out the only thing I would say it's really pricey so that's the only thing about it that it's maybe a little bit of a downbreaker really if you want to invest in a nice and luxurious perfume check out the Victor and Rolf they also got another perfume called uh, Bon Bon it's also really nice so uh, check them out the next perfume I really want to get is the Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent if someone is wearing that I immediately pick it up it's such a gorgeous and again a really in your face scent Black Opium is again really heavy but if you like that you will definitely love that one so if you are in the Sephora and you want to check out some perfumes make sure you check out the Black Opium because it's such a gorgeous scent so this was my perfume collection i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and of course follow me on instagram and i hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos bye